all of you served your church going on missions. Did you ever consider serving your country by putting on a uniform, by serving in the military? You know, I think you, we can look at the guys who served in the military, uh, men and women, and just say that's the biggest sacrifice you can make for your country. It's just it's nothing any of us did, but we look at those guys with a tremendous amount of respect. And Ben, do you regret you never served? Do you... You know, I I I, uh, I look at a lot of my life that I'm living right now, and I um, I'm in residency, and I spend a lot of my time uh, at the VA hospital. I get to work with uh, vets who have uh, made great sacrifices for this country, and uh, and I look at their lives, and uh, hopefully I get to serve them a little bit too. Notice that Romney men did not dare answer the question that was asked. Did you ever consider serving your country by putting on a uniform? Do you regret not serving? They didn't answer that question, but I can answer it for them. And the Romney men answer is, are you kidding me? We're Romney men. We're afraid of serving in the military. Every one of us, we always have been, and that's even before we found out how much it pays. The flawlessly consistent intergenerational combat cowardice of Romney men makes today's threat of physical violence from a Romney man all the more surprising. Mitt Romney's oldest son, Taggart Romney was the guest of honor on a North Carolina radio show yesterday. Okay, I'm going to ask something I know a lot of people want to know, or at least I do. What is it like for you to hear the president of the United States call your dad a liar? Uh, How do you, you know, react to that? Uh, well, it, jump out of your seat. You want to rush down the debate stage and take a swing at him. But you know you can't do that because... Uh, uh, well, first, because there's a lot of secret service between you and him, but also because this, this is the nature of the process, that, you know, they're going to try to do everything they can do to try to make my dad into someone he's not. We signed up for it. Uh, we got to kind of sit there and take our punches uh, and, then, uh, and then send them right back the other way. Okay, Taggart. Let's have a little talk, just you and me. You. When I hear you talk about taking a swing and taking punches... Why do I get the feeling that you've never actually taken a punch or thrown a punch? I didn't have that luxury in the part of Boston that I grew up in, but in your rich suburban Boston life with your father filling a hundred million dollar trust fund for you, I don't know. I just get the feeling that things were kind of different for you. Now, I know you've got a lot a lot to be pissed off at these days, starting with the name Taggart, which you got every right to be wicked pissed off at for every day of the 42 years of your life. So let me try to help you deal with all this aggression you're feeling right now. You're mad at President Obama for calling your father a liar? Well, let's get something straight. He didn't call your father a liar. I did. The president just said, that your father that what your father said isn't true i've been saying all year that your father is a liar i've repeatedly said that your father lies and is trying to lie his way into the white house so you want to take a swing at someone for calling your old man a liar take a swing at me come on come on and don't worry there won't be any secret service involved just us and I'll make it easy for you. I'll come to you anytime, anywhere. Go ahead, Taggart. Take your best shot.